Oh yeah, we're going to approach the government once we have enough artifacts. We're going to impress upon the government that uh, uh, these are good for uh, display, and uh, we're going to uh, perhaps uh, get them to allocate a place uh, for all these items to be displayed and uh, have a permanent marine time museum. And this is uh, not only the first of its kind here in Sarawak, but um, I think the historical importance of this wreck here in uh, Sarawak is able to bring back a lot of uh, history, a lot of memories. Now if you bring it up onto the surface, well, the future gener generations, including the kids, is able to wield them, uh, wield the good stuff, you know. It's important to organize the team and make sure that everybody has a high spirit on this project. And uh, a lot of them are actually on a voluntary basis, not getting any, you know, not having any monetary gain from this exercise. And I think maintaining the team spirit and to get them to work together as one team, and that I think is the, one of the biggest challenge. There's a university here in Miri. Um, it's called the Curtin University. And perhaps at some point of time, we do need some of the students to help us to maybe um, to, uh, you know, uh, help to, uh, what do you call, preserve the artifacts. Yeah, I think the, they need to be educated about all this. And we are pretty much uh, short-handed now. And Rose is the only one that's now doing it uh, in a professional level. So I think it's important for the students to understand how to preserve all these artifacts. I've personally briefed the Chief Minister of Sarawak once on this project and he's also very excited about it. So I think getting the place allocated uh, for this uh, museum shouldn't be a problem.